Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little word question, find the mountain array. Okay, so let me explain how we think about the solution. From the description, uh, input array is partially sorted from index 0 to peak, in this case 5. So from index 0 to here. And from peak or peak plus 1 to last. So let me change the color here. And we know that binary search is much faster than like a linear search. So it seems like uh, we can use a binary search to find the target number. So that's how I decided to use binary search. But problem is the input array is partially so, uh, sorted. At some point, uh, we reach the peak um, and the uh, values start decreasing. So how can we use binary search? So I think uh, it's hard to execute binary search in whole length of input array. So because uh, we have to uh, move one of two pointers according to like middle value and the uh, target value. And uh, the other reason is like a binary search assume that all values in the arrays are sorted. So that's why uh, let's change our strategy. So we know that um, binary search assume that all values in the array are sorted. So simply, uh, we try to find the peak index. So in this case, so let me change the color. In this case, um, try to find the peak index first, and then search target number in increasing part, and then decreasing part, respectively. Uh, res respectively. So that uh, definitely we can find the uh, execute, like a binary search to find the target number. So important point is, to execute binary search three times at most. First, uh, find the peak index by binary search. And the second, find the target in increasing part by binary search. And the third, find the target in decreasing part by binary search. So of course, uh, if we find the target number in increasing part, so we don't have to execute binary search in decreasing part. So we can find the target number uh, with minimum index by searching in increasing part first, because the uh, decreasing part follows um, increasing part in the array, right? So we can say like a, a minimum index of decreasing part is uh, bigger than a maximum index of increasing part, right? So we can deal with a case where we have like duplicate target numbers. Okay, next. So let me talk about the uh, important point of algorithm. I hope you already understood um, binary search of increasing part. It's a typical version. But uh, there are two important things for finding peak and uh, in decreasing part. So let me talk about uh, finding a peak. So when we move left and the right pointer, um, we should do like this. So this get is provided um, by other like a class. I don't know. Um, so read code uh, prepare for this get. So we don't have to care about this get. And uh, if middle value is less than middle plus one, in that case, we move left pointer to like a middle plus one. And uh, if not the case, uh, update right pointer with only middle. So why left is middle plus one? And uh, why right is just middle? So if we meet this condition, so middle value is definitely smaller than middle plus one value, right? So we are sure a middle value is not the peak, right? So that's why we can search in other places except current middle position. So that's why uh, we can remove like a current middle position. So that's why definitely we can move like a middle plus one. And uh, on the other hand, when we don't meet this condition, so there is a possibility that middle value is a peak value. Uh, from if statement, we are sure uh, middle value is greater than middle plus one value, but we are not sure whether middle value is a peak or not. So that's why we can't update right pointer with like a middle minus one, like a typical binary search. So we need to include current middle position in the next search. So that's why I just update right pointer with middle. Okay, next, let's talk about the decreasing part. So these are like an increasing algorithm and a decreasing algorithm. So when we move to left pointer, right pointer, 
So in increasing part, this is a typical binary search. So just a left point. So if target is greater than middle, uh, we move left pointer middle plus one. And uh, on the other hand, right pointer should be like a middle minus one. This is a typical binary search, right? But uh, be careful about the uh, uh, decreasing part. So in the decreasing part, um, later part is gradually small, right? The first, part, first half is like uh, greater than the second half, right? So we need to care about uh, moving like left and right pointers. Actually, it's opposite of increasing part. So if target is greater than middle value, in that case, um, so in decreasing part, the first the first half has a like a bigger value. So that's why we have to move right pointer middle minus one. No, completely opposite of increasing part, right? And then uh, else uh, left um, equal middle plus one. Yeah, so that is a, a important point. Okay, uh, now you understand uh, uh, all important point of this question. So let's write the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, get the length of input array. So mountain array. And uh, we use a provided function, length. And then first of all, we have to find a peak index and uh, find the peak. So let's implement a find a peak. So find peak. So first of all, we want to use this uh, length variable. So initialize like a non-local length so that we can access the length variable. And then left and right equal um, zero and the length minus one. And they start looping while left is less than right. In that case, um, we execute a binary search. So calculate the middle position equal left plus right and uh, divide two. And if um, mountain array, uh, array dot get, so this is a provided function and uh, middle value is um, less than, so I copy this, middle plus one. So in that case, so left pointer move middle plus one. And else, right pointer move just middle, as I explained earlier. And then in the end, return left pointer so that we can get uh, like a peak index. And the next, so result equal, let's say uh, find a peak, find a peak in like an increasing part and a decreasing part. So find target. So this is a increasing part. So left pointer should be zero and the peak index should be right pointer. And uh, such area are uh, not target is target and uh, so we use the uh, same binary, binary search for increasing part and decreasing part so we have to judge um, like a, this is an increasing part or decreasing part so i passed uh, like a boolean so this is a true and uh, so that we can uh, judge um, this is uh, like an increasing part or decreasing part and then so if result is not minus one in that case return just result if not the case return so we use the same function so find target for like a decreasing part so decreasing part is left pointer should be a peak index plus one and uh, so last index should be length minus one and uh, Let's say uh, this boolean is false. And then, so let's implement a uh, find a target. Let me write uh, here. Oops. Def and uh, find a target. So first argument is left and uh, next right and the target. And uh, let's say is, is upside. 
So while left is um, less than or equal right, in the case um, calculate the middle uh, index, so equal left plus right divide two, and the middle value should be um, mountain array dot get and then middle. And uh, if middle value equal target, in the case we should return um, middle uh, middle index. If not the case, if is upside, so that means we are searching a, a increasing part. If target is greater than a middle value. In the case, uh, update left pointer to middle plus one. Else, so right pointer move middle minus one. Else, if target is greater than middle value. In the case, so this is a decreasing part. So right pointer move middle minus one. Else, left pointer move middle plus one. And if, if we don't find the target um, number, so we should return um, minus one. Yeah, so that's it. So let me submit it. Okay, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of log n because uh, we execute the final search three times. So that's why 3 multiplied log n. So time complexity should be log n. And the space complexity is O1. We don't use the extra data, data structure, right? So that's why O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.